ladies and gentlemen, uh, the time now is 11 o'clock, so let us rise for the national anthem, please. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Quorum required by Article 13 of the company's Articles of Association is two members present in person or proxy. Can the registrar confirm that the quorum has been formed, please? <laughs> registrar. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the high table, and our esteemed shareholders. My name is Funke Ayola, and I represent Coronation Registrars Limited, the registrar to Dangote Cement PLC. I hereby confirm that at the start of this meeting, we have 206 members physically present and 64 members represented by proxies with a total of 14,842,971,814 shareholding, representing 87.1% of the company's issued share capital. With this information, we hereby confirm that a quorum has been duly formed. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Punke Ayola. This meeting is therefore duly convened and properly constituted. Accordingly, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the extraordinary general meeting of our company, which I now declare open. I wish to welcome you all to this extraordinary <coughs> general meeting and to inform you that the necessary reg uh, regulatory approvals have been obtained to convene same. In addition to this meeting, in addition, this meeting is being streamed live. Uh, the benefit of our shareholders, regulators, and others who are not physically present. May I request that, you know, Pahumosu, uh, Give us an opening prayer, please. Give him the microphone, please. Thank you very much, Chairman. Shall we rise for the opening prayer? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us all together here at this open AGM. We pray that all that we intend to achieve here, with your grace, we shall achieve them. Amen. So that our company will continue to move forward. Amen. We thank you for giving us good life, Father. Protect us and help us in our country and make our country a country where everybody will live as brothers and sisters. We also pray that you help us to sort out the security challenges in our country and also make this, the election coming up next year, to be a free and fair one that will bring happiness than bringing chaos to the country. All this and so many things we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, uh, Sam Wusu. Thank you for the prayer. May the Almighty answer all our prayers. Amen. Uh, we have uh, one item of business before you today, and you will be given the opportunity for questions before a vote is taken. Please ensure that you raise your hand and receive approval before you speak. Microphones uh, and amplifying equipments have been placed strategically so that everyone should be able to hear. Therefore, I request that you should speak audibly and start by stating your names. Before we proceed, uh, before we proceed to the formal aspect of this meeting, I respectfully introduce to you the directors of uh, the directors and acting company secretary, general counsel of your company, physically present. I'm uh, Ali Kudangote, GC1, the chairman of your company. And uh, and uh, you know, I have on my left my colleagues on the board, directors of the company, as follows: Mr. Michel Pocherkos, the MGCEO; Mr. Olakule Alake. And then I have Mrs. Dorothy Udeme Ufot. And then I have Philip Matthews. On my right, I have the acting company secretary, Edward Udeme. Next to him is Mr. Ernest Evi. Next is Halima Ali Kudangote. Next is Alaji Abdu Dantata. The following directors who are not physically present will follow the proceedings online. Mr. DBG Edwin, Sherry Blair, Ms. Emmanuel Ikazebo, Mr. Viswanathan Shankar, Mr. Michael Davis, Mr. Dred Zagoni, then Ms. Belina Maro. <coughs> the shareholders' representatives on the Saturday Audit Committee here present is the chairman of the committee, Mr. Robert Ade Odiachi. Also representing Mr. Nicholas Mali. Is he here? OK, you are representing them. And Mr. Sharif Yusuf Majurola. I would also like to introduce the respective professional parties sitting on the right in the hall who are advising us, who are advising us on the proposed share buyback program the program and assisting our company in taking the various steps necessary to effect the program if approved today. Our financial advisors are Vetiva Capital Management Limited, being represented by Mr. Olutade Olaegbe. Our legal advisors are Bongo and Oigodalo, ably represented by his partner, Mrs. Aziza Musa Sadiq, and associate, and associate uh, Simishola Johnson. Our registrar's coronation, registrar's limited, is represented by Mrs. Funke Ayola, the registrar. We also have in our midst to observe the proceedings of this meeting Representatives of the Corporate Affairs Commission, the Nigerian Exchange Limited, and the Securities and Exchange Commission. Securities and Exchange Commission uh, is represented by Abu Ibrahim. 
Nigerian Exchange Limited is Oluro to me. Kuti is online. And then Corporate Affairs Commission. Huh? Okay, they are here to, I mean, he's here to arrive from Corporate Affairs. Finally, I would like to introduce the representatives of our auditors, KPMG Professional Services, who will be acting as the scrutinists for today's meeting. The representatives are Good Luck Obi, <laughs> Duni Okekbe Miller, and Akintoe Alaode. Please be informed, please be informed that the Registrar of Directors shareholding is available for inspection during the meeting in compliance with provision of section 301 subsection 8 of the Companies and Allied Motors Act 2020, comma, also in accordance with the section 284 subsection 2 of comma, the records of director's attendance at board meetings is available for inspection at this meeting. The notice of the meeting was published in two national daily newspapers, Vanguard and Daily Independent on Sunday, November 20th, 2022. In accordance with the rule 13.18 of the Nigerian Stock Exchange Rule Book 2, uh, 2015, a copy of the explanatory statement dated November 18th, 2022, containing all information reasonably necessary to enable shareholders make an informed decision on whether to vote for or against the subjoined resolution to approve the program was dispatched along with each notice of the meeting and was made available on the company's website. Copies were also available at the office of the registrars. As you would have seen from the notice of the meeting and the explanatory statement, the purpose of this meeting is to consider the board's program. The board's recommendation to repurchase up to 10% of the company's shares is based on the board's corporate strategy to, uh, to position the company for a long-term growth. The board believes that the program benefits all shareholders by increasing the company's earnings per share, thereby improving the company's return on equity and shareholder value. The program, the program is also an avenue to return cash to shareholders and uh, a valuable tool for managing the capital structure of the company. The explanatory statement contains details of the share buyback process and regulatory approvals required to undertake the share buyback program. As there are no objections, I now call on Acting Company Secretary, General Counsel, to read the notice of the meeting while I propose that the extra, uh, the explanatory statement be taken as read. Thank you very much. Can somebody second that, please? Okay, BC. Thank you very much, BC. I now call on acting company secretary to read notice of the meeting, please. Good morning, esteemed shareholders, members of the board, ladies and gentlemen. Extraordinary general meeting of Dangote's Mayor PLC. Notice is hereby given to every member of Dangote's Mayor PLC, the company, in accordance with section 239 sub 1 and 243 sub 1 of the Company and Allied Matter Act 2020 as amended that the extraordinary general meeting EGM of the company will be held at Zida Hall, a co and suit, plot 1415 Ade, Ade Tokumbo Ademola Street, Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria, on Tuesday, 13th day of December, 2022, at 11 a.m. prompt, for the purpose of transacting the following. Special business, to consider and if thought fit, pass the following subjoined resolution as a special resolution of the company. 
that the company B and is hereby authorized to undertake a share buyback of up to 10% of its issue share as of the date of the resolution, excluding any treasury share in the company's share capital. On such time and condition, in such volume, and at such time as the board of the director did fit, provided that the authority granted herein shall continue to be enforced until the company has acquired up to aggregate of 10% of its issue share, as stated above. B, that unless otherwise required under the applicable law and regulation, or directed by the appropriate regulatory authorities, the company may cancel such number of issue shares, repurchase portion to the share buyback, or otherwise held by the company in this issue share capital. In this issue, share capital as confirmed by the company registrar and, on, and to diminish the amount of its share capital by the amount of shares so cancelled in accordance with the applicable laws and regulations. C. That the memorandum and article of association of the company be amended as applicable upon completion of the share buyback to reflect the company's share capital following the conciliation, if any, of the shares acquired and or otherwise held by the company. D, that the board be and is hereby authorized to do all such acts, deed, as well as take all such steps, including but not limited to executing such agreement and documents, appoint professional advisors and other parties, complying with directive of any regulator or regulatory authority, which may be incidental, ancillary, or supplementary, or otherwise necessary to give full effect to the above resolution and for the aforesaid purposes on behalf of the company. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Edward. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we now have the opportunity to ask questions and comments on all aspects of the program. May I please request that you assist us in giving appropriate responses you should refer to the page in the explanatory statement to which your question is related. However, I will request that each questioner restrict himself or herself to one question only because of time. Please. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Uh, my respected chairman, we are so delighted to be here today after we escaped from COVID. And I pray that COVID will never come to the world again in Amen. Jesus' name. My names are Sir Olatunde Okelana, Balogun Olugun of Orilegun in Oyo State, and a Justice of Peace, a security consultant. <laughs> and my dear chairman, having been to your meeting several times, and having been your investor, because we always have interest in whatever you are doing, I want to say I'm very proud of you, and I'm very happy to be a shareholder of Dangot Cement. Please, can, can you please congratulate me for being a shareholder of Dangote Cement? Uh, I, I said that because I am so delighted. You always look forward. You always have a foresight. You see beyond today. And that is the reason why we, are, we, are, we left everything we are doing to answer you to come to this meeting. Mm. Thank you for being a father to many of us. Before my question, sir, before I say something, there is a challenge yes, by, there is a challenge with our market strategy and pricing for now. For example, I think it's better we restrict ourselves. Yes, to the I agree with you, my chairman. Yeah, so don't worry, you, you will have that opportunity during an AGM, which will I be know, holding I know. in a few months. My so chairman. just ask this one the benefits and the yes. non benefits of yes. the program. My, so my dear, just my, ask you a question. Yes, my dear quickly. chairman, since you asked me to restrict myself to one question, what would be the benefit of the entire shareholders at large? both the merit and the merit. And it's, it's good to know this. Please, that's what I want to ask. Yeah, the issue is that, uh, you know, first of all, the shareholders will have some cash 
back yes. in their hands. And secondly, your value, the share value will be by far much better and more. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. Sir Ngosu. Mr. Chairman, I've gone through this, but I'm not convinced about the content of this paper. Personality, irrespective of personality. I can hear you very well. Yeah. Well, it's uh, the new Wosu. No, it's, it's the microphone. You have to put it close to your mouth. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, what I've said is that I've read through this. I'm not really satisfied with the way the buyback is going. Because I recall that I told you that it's a pro rata issue. It should affect everybody. But when you say you will buy back, I don't understand. If, if the company is buying back, you, are, you should buy back and it should affect all the shareholders as a pro rata issue. And I want you to address that. Secondly, it is very clear to me that we have too much reserve and therefore you should have given us a bonus. We are having a reserve of over 2 trillion naira. If those monies are meant for us, then you should have applied a way that we will also benefit from that money. Over 2 trillion mark. And you do not have any history of bonus. I can't remember anyone. So we as shareholders are asking for bonus. That you should give us bonus. Very importantly too, this company is so big and well organized than having an acting company secretary. And I think we should normalize that area for the benefit of the interests of the company. So we want, to also, we want to also use this opportunity to thank God for helping us to sort out the issue of Obajana. I recall that I personally made a statement on Obajana issue because of our interests. So maybe briefly, you can just tell us how far even though it's not an AGM, but we are all gathered here for the interest of our company. Want, want to know what is going on. Thank you. So I once again congratulate you for everything. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sir uh, Mosu. You know, the share uh, buyback affects everybody. You know, it's not only you that are sh you are selling your shares. We are also submitting our shares. To, you know, so it's everybody. It's not really uh, for only some section of shareholders. And uh, you know, we are fair to everybody. You know, everybody you know would benefit from this. And uh, question about bonus shares or whatever. You know, the board will decide and propose to shareholders when the time comes. You know, uh, on issue of over Jenna, yes, on issue of over Jenna, we are, you know, resolving that. But you can be rest assured, uh, you know, whatever that we've done is according to the laws. And that's why we encourage the state government, rather than taking laws into their hands, they should go to court. Uh, but it's not even called this arbitration. So, you know, we are, we are now in that process and we'll keep you informed by the time that we come for, uh, you know, uh, AGM. Yes. BC, I'll take two more questions. BC. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for the opportunity. Mr. Chairman, Board of Directors. Do you want to sleep here? Regulatory authorities, <laughs> my co shareholders, good morning. My name is Mrs. B.C. Bakari, Shiaoda. Much has been said by the earlier speaker, Mr. Chairman. I don't want to waste much of your time. But I think what we need to do today, we don't need to ask much questions since we have opportunity of AGM. Having said that, I've gone through the explanatory notes. It's very detailed, sir. So anybody that go through the explanatory notes, we agree with me that we don't need to waste our time here because the essence of this share buyback is to increase long-time shareholders' value, and that is what we need. 
On that note, I want to say I give, I'm going to give the approval, and I know my colleagues too will join me in giving the approval. Once again, thank you very much for the opportunity given to thank me. Thank you very much, BC. You have something to add? Okay. Thank you. Honorable One Chairman. question it's has to do one, with the one, share buyback. Yeah. Anything um, you ask outside that, I will not respond. No, sir. Thank you for the privilege given to me. My name is Tunji Bamidele, President of Salah Shauda, all of all from our justice, sir. My chairman, I, we need certain clarity about the issue of buying back and unissued shares. I think the, the issue of unissued shares is what we want to trash out. The number of issue share is where you will want to take 10% of it or otherwise. Because when you are saying people will submit a little from whatever they have before, we are a little bit confused. Now, what we want to do on an on issue share in line with regulatory standard or requirement 31st of this month, that is area we need better clarity. I really appreciate you for giving me a privilege. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. But the, you are not the only one submitting now. And if you don't want to sell your own, you don't have to sell your own. The people who want to sell will submit their own to get the benefit. Oh. Oh. One question, oh. I know you. One question, share buy back. If you ask more than one question, I will switch off the microphone. <laughs> I know you haven't been to the National Assembly where they will switch off microphone. I'm very sure of that one. Okay, this one, if you continue to talk, I will switch off the light. Then we'll play disco. Don't worry, Chairman. But talking seriously, uh, standing on the existing protocols, I, I think that some issues needed to be ironed out much more. When Sony talked about the issue of pro rata, and the answer you gave was that every director will be part of it. If you read the page that has to do with the director's declaration, and you look at the bottom after the name of Philip Matthew, you will find there it is stated that directors are not going to be participating in this buyback. So there's some conflict. And I think that conflict uh, needs to be clarified, you know. But much more important, okay. much more important for this exercise, Chairman. I think the issue when you look at directors not participating is by regulation. Okay. Yeah. No, that's, that's why I said you needed to put because no, the answer it's, you it's gave. No, it's by regulation. Okay. Yeah. The reason I'm also raising that is that if you look at what we have seen in the market, which is again the speaker before I me. I can't hear you very well. I said if you again look at what we have seen in the market, which is the, the speaker before me was also seeking clarity around, is that nobody that has come for share cancellation has come with the authority of the Federal High Court, which is unfortunate for us as a people, because what we are basically doing before you came on board with this position is that we have been committing atrocity against the rules of that runs company. I've looked at Kama, unfortunately, I, I don't claim to be a lawyer, but nowhere do you have clarity around share cancellation that we are having. But in all of this, I think Dangote Cement also needs to relate this to its float, because if you buy in back shares, and then the law is saying that directors cannot. And given the size that some of the directors are holding, what it then means is that the float becomes even a bigger challenge. So I want uh, some clarity around that as well. We will, we will look but into that. But let me you... thank you for the fact that this meeting that we are holding today is open. But we didn't stop at it being open we also made sure that it's been streamed, which means that we are open to everybody. But our openness will also be demanding that if our quorum is two, 
by special grace of God, when we come in here next year, God granting us life. I think that section needs to be amended. Thank you very much. Okay, we will look at it differently. We will do that. Okay, can we move on, please? All right, thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the point where the resolutions are to be tabled for your approval. Uh, the statutory majority required to approve the alteration of the articles of association and the program is majority representing not less than three quarters, which is 75% in number, where voting is by show of hands or in value of the shares where voting is by poll of members present and voting, either in person or by proxy at this meeting. Please be informed that the purpose of this meeting we have received proxy forms from some of our shareholders. Kindly note that voting on the resolutions to be moved at this meeting shall be by poll. Every shareholder present in the person or by proxy shall be entitled to one vote for every share he or she holds. Uh, registrar will give the requisite voting instructions. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Here is a brief description of the voting process. Having gotten requisite approvals to hold a meeting, we have captured a total of 64 shareholders' voting details received by proxy and holding 14,842,971,814 shareholding, representing 87.1% of the company's issued share capital. Hence, the voting results will be displayed in addition to the votes cast here today. When you came in this morning, you were provided with a voting device that we have configured to represent your shareholding in Dangote Cement PLC. After the resolutions have been read out, the shareholders are to cast their votes. Kindly take a look at your respective voting parts. The button 1A is for a yes vote, and 2B is for a no vote. Once I announce that the voting has commenced, please press the reference button in accordance with your choice. Please note that the shareholder can change their votes during the voting period, but once the voting period has ended, the last button you pressed will be recorded as your vote. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Registrar, I now call on the acting company secretary to read the subjoint resolution that is to be considered. Yes, these resolutions are subjoint resolution and will be read together and taken together. A, that the company B and is hereby authorized to undertake a share buyback up to 10% of its issue share as of the date of this resolution, excluding any treasury share in the company's share capital. On such time and condition, in such volume and at such time as the board of director, the board may deem fit, provided that authority granted herein shall continue to be enforced until the company has acquired up to an aggregate of 10% of its issue shares as stated above. B, that unless otherwise required under the applicable law, regulation or directed by the appropriate regulatory authority, the company may cancel such number of issued shares repurchased pursuant to the share buyback or otherwise held by the company in its issue share capital as confirmed by the company registrar and to diminish the amount of its share capital by the amount of the share so cancelled in accordance with all applicable laws and regulations. C that the memorandum and article of association of the company be amended as applicable upon completion of the share buyback to reflect the company's share capital following the conciliation, if any, of the share required, of the shares acquired and or otherwise held by the company. D, that the board be and the share buy authorized to do all such acts 
deed as well as take all such steps, including but not limited to executing such agreement and documents, appoint professional advisors and other parties, complying with the directives of any, any regulatory authority, which may be incidental, ancillary, or supplementary, and or otherwise necessary to give full effect to the above resolution for the aforesaid purpose on behalf of the company. Thank you. Thank you, Company Secretary. I would like to call on a shareholder to please rise to propose that the resolution just read by the acting company secretary be uh, approved. Okay. Okay, a lady. Thank you, Mr. Time. Chairman. Next time. Next time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The name is William Adebayo. I rise to second that motion. I move that motion. Thank you. Uh, will someone please rise to second the motion? Okay, the lady. I'm a girl. I'm a girl, sir. My name is Mrs. E. O. Obidei, the little girl. Thank you very much. Mrs. E. O. Obidei, a little girl. The little girl, okay. I support the motion. Thank I you. second. Thank you. <laughs> I now put the motion to a vote and call on the registrar to conduct the vote, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The voting period shall last 20 seconds. Yeah. You have 10 seconds. It's not on the screen, no? It's not on the screen. Okay. It's what? Number A? Is it A? Yeah. Two seconds. The voting process is ended. We have a total of 289 shareholders voting for the motion. With the number of shares, 14,842,992,689 shareholding. Who have voted in favor of the motion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the total number of shareholders who voted either in person or by proxy on the subjoined special resolution is 14,842,992,689, representing 100% of the shareholders present and voting. I therefore declare that the subjoined special resolution approving the program has been carried. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the conclusion of the business of the extraordinary general meeting. Before I declare this meeting closed, I would like to invite the registrar to give a brief statement on the e-dividend payment and their new portal. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the high table, and our esteemed shareholders. My name is Chiamaka Ogobidike. I'm the head of customer experience, coronation registrars. One of the challenges in the capital market today is unclaimed dividends. As we speak, about 70% of Dangote Cement PLC shareholders do not have their accounts mandated. So we are unable to pay your dividends this is a call to all shareholders to please come forward and submit your account number where you want your dividends to be paid to. In case you've not done that, we have our team outside. Please, on your way, meet with them to fill the necessary forms. In addition to that, we want to keep in touch with you. We want to send you information from your company. 
but we are unable to reach everybody because we do not have your email addresses, we do not have your phone numbers. Please, if you have changed your phone numbers over time, or email, or you do not have, you can create an email, you can also use that of your trusted um, child or a relation, so that we can reach you with information. Please drop those information on your way out from this place at the registrar stand. You don't need to come to our office to do all of this. We have made it very easy for you. You can use our Coronation Shareholder Live. It's on our website. From there, you can see your shareholding portfolio. You can see your dividend. You can have your statement. You can update your information. You don't need to stress at all. These are many more are ways that you know, we, are, we have put in place to make your transaction with us very seamless. Our contact center team are always available to also attend to your request. You can reach us on our phone number, on our email. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, for giving us this time. Thank you very much. So please, shareholders, can you take that opportunity and give them your email and rectify this thing. And uh, people like uh, Samwosu, BC, Bakari, and Ko, you should please encourage your shareholders to be doing that so that we can actually, you know, try and eliminate this uh, unclaimed uh, dividend because it doesn't really help anybody. And you've been fighting over it. So I think that's what you need to do. And that's why we ask her to come and explain again. And that can actually help our valued shareholders, you know, to be able to be getting their dividend. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ms. Punke Ayola. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Directors, I thank you all for attending the meeting and for showing much interest in the affairs of the company. I wish you all safe journey back to your respective homes and I wish you a very uh, you know, happy holidays, Merry Christmas in advance. I now declare the meeting closed and uh, before the national anthem, I would like to call uh, Mrs. Aziza Musa Sadiq to give us a closing prayer, please. Thank you, God, for the deliberations at the meeting. We pray that you take all of us back to our respective destinations safely. We pray that you continue to protect God and guide us and guide our leaders as we go into the elections next year. We pray that you grant us leaders that will put the citizens into consideration in everything they do. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Ms. Aziza. Uh, National Anthem, please. Music on Trendy Beats.